How do narcissists feel when you ignore them? One of the healthiest things you can do for yourself is to ignore a narcissist because they are negative and unhelpful. They cause great and irreparable damage. So they are not good for your health because they trap and confine you. They trick you into doing something contrary to your interests and intentions, which is why by ignoring them, you are releasing yourself from confinement. You are removing something undesirable and restrictive from you. You're making yourself stronger and more confident. By taking back control of your life and by claiming your rights, But while this may be empowering for you, it is not good news for narcissists. Because they are parasites, they feed from your energy and emotions. They need their narcissistic supply. Which is why when you start distancing yourself, it will affect their fragile egos. By them no longer being in control of you and the situation. And they will react negatively. Because your distance is not favourable to their development. And while you may not be actively seeking to bring harm to them. You don't want to remain in the cycle of abuse. Where they are idealising, devaluing, discarding and then hoovering you. And even once they've depleted you, they are then giving you the same treatment or ghosting you. Because they know that anything that has been under their influence for a certain amount of time and without breathing room is not going to be of any use. Which is why they will often ghost you or give it the silent treatment to manipulate you. And although they may always find ways to justify their behaviours, they do not think it's acceptable for you to ignore them. They lack integrity. They have double standards. The silent treatment is a form of passive aggression, where an abuser communicates a negative message through non-verbal communication that only you and the abuser recognise or understand and they may also use dog whistling where they use coded or suggestive language to garner your support without provoking opposition while secretly they are seeking to harm or offend you they will use these manipulation tactics in an attempt to gain an advantage in the relationship when they give you the silent treatment it's a form of devaluation is intended to make you feel invisible and worthless. They may also use it to manipulate and control you, to provoke a reaction, and to manipulate you into jump through hoops, to where you may attempt to go through a complicated or annoying series of things in order to please them or to achieve something. Because they want you to try to win their favor. They want you to earn that attention, kindness, approval, or respect, which is why they give you the silent treatment and it's often why they may reject you or be deliberately unfriendly to you. Because then they're hoping that you will be bothered and concerned. They're hoping that you will feel worried, upset, annoyed or agitated as a result of their passive aggressive behaviour, their contempt and disrespect. Because they know that's exactly how they would feel if it was being done to them. But when you aren't surprised or worried, and they're unable to manipulate you like a puppet on strings. They will take it to the next level. But they are actually very predictable. They follow a very specific pattern of toxic behaviour. And this is a pattern that is not going to change. They never get better. They can only give you a temporary impression of improvement. But beneath their mask they are still exactly the same because all they can do is manipulate people. Narcissists hate being ignored. 
even while they use manipulative tactics in order to gain an advantage. And yet they're so worried or upset when you turn a position of disadvantage into one advantage because narcissists are addicted to being seen as special, as better, greater or otherwise different from what is usual, as being distinguishable by some unusual quality, to where they are distinctive, peculiar or unique. But when you are ignoring them, they do not feel unique or special. They feel like they have lost control. They feel powerless, which drives them insane because they don't have any power of their own. They lack the ability to influence people and events because they lack individual characteristics. They lack their own individual attitude or state of mind, which means that they have no capacity to be able to impact people through their own skills or mannerisms and deep down they know it. Which is why when anyone gives their attention to their lack of personal power, it is very painful for the narcissist. It shatters their sense of self-importance. Which is why they go above and beyond to try to affect, dominate, manipulate and control you because they recognize that you are interrupting their continuous state as well as exposing their lack of control and personal power. Which is why when you ignore the narcissist, it triggers their shame, fear, insecurity, and abandonment, anxiety. They can dish it out, but they can't take it. They can reject, ignore, devalue, diminish, and demean you all day, every day, and thoroughly enjoy it. Because it speaks to them. It has a special meaning and importance to them. Because these are the very things that they are sensitive to and it's what they have experienced in the past. Only they didn't have the same strength and resilience as you, which is why it's a recurring theme for them. It's a central idea and concept that reflects the ongoing patterns of behavior, because at some point in time, it broke them. It inflicted so much mental stress upon them until they were no longer able to make their own rational decisions. And now, they're trying to put you through the exact same psychological process that they went through, because they're hoping that it will have the same effect on you. Which is why when you regain your strength, and you go to ignore them, it's difficult for them to agree with or accept. because it triggers them to reflect on their underdeveloped true self. And then you're faced with this emotional toddler throwing a temper tantrum, which is when they're most dangerous. Because in that moment, they will do anything to get their way. They have no true identity. They are split off from their true self and authentic core. They fail to bring together the dichotomy of both positive and negative qualities of themselves into a cohesive, realistic whole, which has resulted in a defense mechanism where they tend to think in extremes. And they interpret complex or overwhelming situations in oversimplified terms, where they only portray only two light views. So if you criticize or reject them, it triggers a narcissistic injury. In that moment, they feel worthless and insignificant because you have cut off their source of a narcissistic supply. You're no longer emotionally reacting to their toxic behavior, which is why they will become very angry and they will do anything they can to fight for your attention to where they can even become abusive because they will settle for anything. They don't care if it's positive or if it's negative, which is why you do need to be very careful because they have an overinflated fragile ego. So ignoring them will trigger their rage. They will feel humiliated and they will lash out at you because they're trying to protect their false persona. But underneath their mask, they're actually very vulnerable. They're hypersensitive to even the perceived threat of abandonment, which is why they will be hyper reactive 
to even the most slightest hint of rejection. And when they realise they're no longer in control, they will turn on you and everything will revolve around their perceived personal attack as they endlessly insult and disrespect you. But this really has nothing to do with you. They don't even see you. All they will see is their own failures and insecurities, which is what they will then project onto you. And it's why they often come across as ridiculously impractical or ill-advised. To where it has no meaning and makes no sense. They just seem so foolish, insane, stupid, idiotic and eccentric. Because it's not even relatable. It just seems so out of context. Which is why you may feel like they're deliberately just trying to drive you crazy. Because it's very difficult to take it personally. And it's why they will typically just ignore you back. Because by that point it's the only way they can strengthen their sense of power and control. But you may just end up seeing it as something that empowers you. Which is why their silent treatment tends to last for only a short time. Because for you it's peaceful. You're no longer being interrupted or annoyed by problems, noise or unwanted actions. And they can sense it. They know when you're at peace with their silence. Which is why they will then go out of their way to ruin your reputation. And they will tell anyone who will listen. Because they want to damage people's perceptions of you. With their misrepresentations and distorted narratives. They will manipulate the truth to serve their own motives. Which is why they will lie and spread rumours about you. Because they just want to feel powerful and in control again. And they want to punish you for having the nerve to reject and abandon them. Some narcissists will stalk you. And others may even become violent and threatening. They may even turn on the waterworks. To try to get sympathy from you. With fake apologies, false promises and future faking. They will do anything to regain your attention. But do not be tricked or convinced into believing that any of this is true information. It's all a game and it will not last for long. It's easier to talk about some projected action than it is to actually carry it out. So never believe solely in a person's words. Pay attention to their actions. Because narcissists are notoriously known for being inconsistent and unreliable. So don't expect them to act in accordance with any previously shown or stated characteristics. Because they lack the quality of always behaving in the same way or of having the same opinions or standards. Don't fall for their foolish and unacceptable behaviour. You deserve better than that. Which is why the most desirable outcome when you're dealing with a narcissist is for there to be as much distance as possible. Because then you can escape from their dangerous and confining situation. It may not always be convenient. But it is your safest and most reliable course of action. Because ignoring the narcissist is the most effective way to end the connection with this parasite. Although they will feel like they're being starved of oxygen. Because up until that point they were feeding off your energy and emotions. Which is why when you ignore the narcissist, they will feel like they're in a fight for their lives. It will feel like life or death to them. And they will go to great extremes to drag you back in. In that moment they will do anything. They will love bomb you. They will guilt trip you. And in rare cases they may even threaten to take their own lives. Because you are the fuel that drives their disorder. You are their source of narcissistic supply. 
so if you do not respond to any of their tactics, you will be starving them of your energy and emotions. Initially they may show a lack of interest or concern, but then they will mock and ridicule you. They will provoke you to get their desired reaction, and if that doesn't work they will bully and intimidate you. They will smear you to anyone who will listen. They will play the victim and paint you as the villain. No matter how bad their own behaviour was. And even after they've run these smear campaigns and done all of these horrible things to you, they will still hoover you. Just to then project their own attitudes and behaviours onto you and accuse you of doing exactly what they've been doing the entire time. And they may even state that they were the ones who had to dispose of you, because they have to be the one who is in control. Which is why it really doesn't matter what they say. They're not credible, their opinions hold no weight, because they will say one thing and do another. They're contradictory and hypocritical. So all you need to do is not yield to the pressure of the difficult situation. Starve them of narcissistic supply. And then they will be forced to go somewhere else to get their twisted sense of amusement and narcissistic needs met. Which means that they will finally leave you in peace. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate to paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on our website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.